Oh boy, it's good to be back for some more Osiris New Dawn! I'm so excited! There's been a major update! I can't wait to see what's in store for me! Let's just load up our save that we have worked so hard on and see what has changed. What? The hell? No avatars available? God damn it, I'm so sick of this! Every time it's ah, open up, shit! Oh, look at that. We get to be anyone we want now. Oh, totally worth deleting all my hard work. I'm gonna save myself some time and I'm gonna be an engineer. Right? Because we got to make some, we got to, we got to make up for everything now. I'm going to be a male, clearly. Choose color, <laughs> primary, darkness, lime green, duh, detail, we need more darkness. All right, what is this? Custom features, height. Well, that's a neat feature. Totally worth deleting all my hard work. All right, you're going to be a big dude. Torso, upper arms, forearms, hands, thighs, calves, feet. Hell yeah, look at this big bitch. Confirm stat points. All right, well, we're doing this now. Complete customization. I get it. Totally worth deleting people's saves. What's this? Bashing rock. Five combat points to basically take a rock and hit someone with it. Oh, we have to unlock chisels now. That's also good. I honestly don't even know what I'm clicking right now. Stone shovel coming soon. Well, then how am I supposed to freaking unlock it? Assign name. Shit. I G. Yes! All right, universe name. What happened to the old one? Uh, the IG Paradisi. What is survival meters? What the hell are survival meters? Population? Casual. Resource yield amount? Hi! Give me more resources. Perfect, sounds good. Let's go. Oh, I'm so happy to be here again. What's up, everybody? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Osiris New Dawn. I worked so hard, put so many hours into getting to where I was that it's absolutely insane to think that it's just gone now. We're gonna have to start from where we left off, and I'm going to cut out a lot of it. Hopefully, I can get a lot done in this first episode to bring us back to the same point. We're also gonna be exploring the new or the latest update to the game. As you can see, there's a lot changed here. We have a really cool looking walking animation that I don't remember actually being there. It looks like we have our helmet on too, which I've never seen. The menu is all changed, so we're gonna be exploring this as we start playing. I'm gonna go ahead and begin by gathering some stuff. It looks like we have a pick, what is that? A pickaxe? A pickaxe? That is currently a conduit bender. Uh, a heavy metal tool used for bending pipes. Makes for an effective bludgeoning weapon. Oh, okay, so I actually can't, uh, what, what do I do to break down stuff? Skill tree is right here. Oh, that's nice. Uh, where are all my points? I guess they're just, oh, they're listed right here. Very good. Okay, so proficiencies, I have levels in those as well? How does that work? I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still a bit blown away by the fact that my entire save got deleted. I didn't even get to back it up. Not even that it would matter. It seems like this brand new game is now incompatible with everything else, so... Uh, let's gain some experience, and, uh... Hopefully I won't bore you. Hopefully you guys are still gonna stick around. I actually really enjoy this game a lot, and I hope you guys do too. Uh, if you do, let me know you support it. Leave a like, comment down below, and, uh... Let's begin. The bandage is good. Let's pick... Ooh. That's a cool little animation. That's supposed to... Glass container with water. That's very nice. Oh, okay, I can... I can hit it with that. Oh. I put it on casual. Dude, really? Whoa! I put it on casual! Stop it! Come back here. Haha! -ha. I'm too good. Too good. Oh my god, there's another one? How about you calm down, huh? There we go. Okay, so now I can catch them. I, I It used to be pretty hard before. Okay, so we have our little pod over here. More pod debris. Pick up the bandage. Dude, it takes forever to pick stuff up. Why? That's gonna be... This is gonna be really hard now. What if I'm running away from someone? Meat stew, a consumable, okay. Oxygen tanks. What does the oxygen tank do? Tanks filled with oxygen that can be plugged directly into your suit. This will help you catch your breath by providing oxygen in the field. Oh, is it, is it, does that help me run more, I guess? Space debris. What, what are all these new items? Complex material, metal material found off of broken human-made structures and vehicles can be recycled into other materials or used to create makeshift structures and other items. Okay, well, that's very good. Let me get some more space debris. Oh, steel. Nice. I will take it. 
I don't like how it takes forever to pick up. That scares me. Oh, there's different, uh, modes. Luma Reinhard. Uh, what is all this? Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Don't give me these options, dude. I, don't, I can't pick the right one. Invert. Oh, that's pretty good. Why would, why would we want that? Cinematic one. Ooh, cinematic looks pretty good. Ooh, I do like the blue tint, actually. I, I, I always didn't like the orangeness of the game anyway, so that probably would help a bit. All right, let me use this bandage because it's starting to piss me off. All right, so what is, what is this? I can get different boots or O2 and modules. Can I just plug equip? No. So it looks like I can get upgraded suits. That's pretty nice. Uh, and then the hot bar is down here. So I'm going to put the bandages here and then the water down here. So let's use a bandage. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So let me go get the rest of my stuff before it starts getting nighttime, and then I get annihilated. Another oxygen tank. Oh, boy. Dude, it's supposed to be casual. Why are there a bu- What the hell? Dude, this is nuts. Yeah, get, get my melee up. Okay, so that was annoying. Uh, can you guys please leave me alone? I gotta get all this debris out first. I don't know. I really didn't look in detail uh, as to what has been changed because it was such a big update. So I apologize if I miss anything. If you, if you, if there's any information you guys have that I haven't addressed, uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. But we got to build a, we got some nice little pockets of uh, material over there. There is a lightning storm over there, it seems. Holy crap! I don't know what kind of game this is anymore. Okay, so we are on, we are on the Proteus Two continent. <gasps> oh, we can build huts out of freaking. Oh, yes, can keep me hidden from creatures through the night. Uh, can we make an inflatable dome? We don't get one anymore. I guess the purpose is to make us build one of these makeshift places. Uh, great. All right, so I'm just gonna go to the first marker. Maybe there's something there that will help me. Make landfall. Yay! Two new missions. Build a stone oven and find Osiris 1. The Osiris 1 base? Whoa! Okay. Right away. Please calm down. Ooh, it looks like there's a base over there. Just like the other one. If we could set up there, dude, it would be golden. We're gonna need, like, rocks and such eventually. I do not like this. This whole, like, floating up to me to pick up thing, dude, I get why it's being done, but holy crap. I, I really- th there's- this game is grindy enough. I don't want to have to wait each time there's something for me to pick up for a complete second. And I can't move when it happens either. I'm stuck in that position. Our right, utilities. They say stone oven. Uh, needs ability stone oven. Well, that would be great. Uh, I just don't- Oh, okay, so we do. We get little points there. Uh, and I guess they're no longer the individual- Aw. That kind of sucks. Skill tree is pretty big, dude. Much bigger than last time. But, uh, I gotta say... What is this? A Xernium ammo shells. Oh, coming soon. Okay, can't do that yet. But yeah, I guess I gotta go hit more people in order to unlock the brick... Or the stone oven. Great. Um, hello? What the hell was that about? Oh boy, I love getting hit so much, dude. No, shut up. Come here. Yes! Get out of here. Where are you? Come here. Come here! I'm not scared of anything right now. Get on! Do I have five? Yes, I have five now. I can get it. Okay, unlock stone oven. Boy, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so I need, uh, eight rocks and a plutonium. <laughs> this is nuts, dude. Okay, so there's a- there's a rock. Need eight of these. There's some banana leaves. Ooh, and a banana. Thank you. Let's make some, uh, bandages. Ooh, those look weird. Oh, I get signs for that one. Very nice. Thank you. Holy crap, that storm looks amazing. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, hey! Found plutonium! Hell yeah! Okay, so we have a building over here that I'm gonna go to. This- uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, this will be the same one that I was on before. Because this looks like it should have been the oasis, right? And now the tree in the middle is gone and the water is gone as well. Yes. The water is now gone. I'm pretty sure this is the same location. So good, we're back here, and now we can start again from scratch. Hell yeah, this is the best game ever made! I don't even get a gun to start off, dude. This is nuts. Wait, is this the red berry tree? No, it's a regular berry. Okay. Uh-oh. I need some combat points, come here. Seek medical assistance immediately. Yeah. There we go. 
Okay, so we're pretty close in science. Uh, combat's up, engineering is up. Okay. So we don't necessarily need a home right now because these huts are just temporary shelters. I don't think they actually do anything in regards to uh, allowing me to save. Well, they might, but we should probably just get the uh, stone oven done first. All right. Hell yeah. So the mine is over here too. So I can actually get lucky and get a heavy assault rifle over here and then some ammunition if I just keep going in and out, if they allowed it to be that way. I have a feeling that they might have changed it. Hell yeah. So we're going to set up in this corner like we did before. There we go. Stone oven. Let's go. Oh, 150 engineering. Oh, experience. I got gotcha. you. I was a bit confused. Okay, open stone oven. We can make a bunch of ingots. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. That gave me a whole bunch of points. All right. So we're going to need this definitely. Uh, after this, we're going to need that too. Sweet. So now we can build a crate. So let's actually do that real quick and make a depository so we can start storing our shiz. Okay, so what else can I make in this? I can make a... Uh... Oh, that's it? All right, so we got to craft some items, I guess. I got to go... Uh, let's go up to the mine. Let's just go up to the mine, dude. Like right away. Who cares? Oh, wow. We actually run faster than our jetpack. The jetpack is actually slower. Wow, they're encouraging you to run more, I see. Great. Hell yeah! Let's go to the mines, dude! Just like the first time of the last season. You remember that save that we had once that you deleted? Dropping. Oof. Oof. This is dark. All right. Moving on. Okay, so it looks a little different. No, this is a totally the same mine. Okay, hey, boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, take that, please. You should sort this. There we go. All right. What we got in here? Uh, the resources should be over here, I think. Ammo box. Hell yeah. Give me that. Survival kits. I will take that. Hell yes. I certainly can't beat this boss. Not right now. I need I need a gun. But maybe there are some good resources in here I could use. Ooh, I'm a little terrified. I know what's going to happen. Hi. These guys are easier. As you can see, I did not actually use uh, or lessen their health or anything. They're the same level. They're just not as frequent. So... These melee weapons are pretty, pretty insane. Yes, lithium. Hell yeah. I don't want to waste my really good axe here. Can I repair this stuff or do I have to build a new one? Now, how do I get stuff if I don't have a weapon to hit something with? Actually, you know what? If I could get past this boss, I could probably get some diamond. Hey, good old buddy. I'm just gonna not look at you directly. Ooh. I like how I can see it much better right now. Oh, boy, that music. Oh, oh, it's on me. Oh, it's on me. Oh, boy. All right, let's just run and get some stuff, dude. That's lithium and diamond. Let's get it. <laughs> lithium? What is this? Lithium, I'll take more lithium. I'm going to need as much as I possibly can get. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Ow! Oh, no. Oh, no, it's done. It's done. I got to go. Oh, hey. Hey, big guy. Oh, Fuck. Heal. Heal. Bring it here. Oh, God. Dude, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Get on. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I think we're good. We got a bunch of diamond out of that, dude. That was, that was actually pretty good. So I wonder if this still works. I'm going to try to leave and come back in and see if the things respawn. So I could definitely use some more health and ammunition. Jesus Christ. All right, so I'm assuming, yeah, everything respawns. Good. I'm going to get a bunch of stuff right now. <laughs> Perfect. So this is not cheating at all. Trust me. Let's get some more ammunition <laughs> and health kits. I'll be right back. So I got 50 ammunition and 15 of each of the good shit. Here's all of our lithium and diamond. I'm going to store that and we can get started. Now I got to do something with the science. Oh, hey, there we go. We got it rather quickly. <laughs> I didn't realize that bashing the tree does that. So forging. Yeah. Then we need a solar panel and chemical stations. Okay, so we're going down the right path, I feel. Okay, so I need plutonium ingots, titanium ingots, and iron ingots for this, which I know we have plenty. But that also means we need titanium. So we got to go find that real quick. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a bunch of stuff over here that should yield a lot of everything, including gold. Oh, boy. Oh, I'll take gold. Hey, hey, hey! Stop it. Hey, my friend, come here. Take this. Take the rock. It's actually very hard to hit something with this. Stop moving! Never mind. He ran away. What a loser. All right, please tell me I get titanium from this. Please. Ah. Oh, 
My, my bashing rock, dude. I think it would be in one of these, right? Like titanium should be. There we go. Perfect. I think I'm getting enough just from those <laughs> with the higher yield. Yeah, we, we definitely have enough to do it now. Great. All right. So we got our forge up and running. I heard something. Whoa. Uh, I don't have anything. Oh, boy. I don't have anything to defend myself with. I don't even have a rock. Not even a rock. Can I make something out of, uh, can't make this stone axe. Um, well, this is, oh my goodness. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> ow! Ow, 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 ow. I can use the chisel. Aluminum, aluminum, copper, magnesium, and steel. Okay, I think the chisel can do some damage. Oh, chisel. Yes, take. Give me this. Ha-ha! You want to fight, bro? Where'd he go? Come here. Yeah, you. Come here. Oh my god, it doesn't do any damage. That's fine. Just a little bit is enough. Level 1 infant arachnoid. Please die. Ah, so we got it. We got something to defend ourselves with. We need batteries. I realized that too. We need some freaking batteries. Powerful tool used for mining mineral ores can be uh, reused for melee combat. Okay. Uh, barrels I will unlock real quick. And there we go. There's the airlocks and everything else. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I'm going to be mining forever. I can make an inflatable dome in here though, right? Can I at least do that? Yeah, inflatable dome kit, which I have to unlock first, which is where again? Where's the inflatable dome kit? Oh, nomad living unlocks the ability to build the inflatable dome all the way over here. Is that a, is this a joke? There's got to be another way to do that. What the hell? I guess I got to make the small structures. Great. Uh, well, I guess I'll do a, st a steel one. Maybe. All right, let's make this freaking hut real quick. I hear it. I hear that thing moving around. Yay, proficiency upgraded. Yay. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Do I get inside of it? What? Where's the opening? Oh, wow. This is seriously it. Okay, well, I mean, obviously, I know I don't need to save or anything like that because you um, automatically saves when I leave, but Jesus Christ, seriously? Oh, boy. I, I can't believe we had to start over, dude. I cannot believe we have to start over this. This is unbelievable. I guess it's mining time. I guess that's my goal. Increase my engineering, right? So we're pretty much at a setback. We know how everything works now. The update is is obvious. All the updates are pretty much have to do with the gameplay, which is the reason why I had to start over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mine the hell out of everything, gather as much resources as I possibly can, and then rebuild everything that I can. In the meantime, obviously, I'm going to gain to which I can unlock better stuff in the skill tree, and hopefully I'll be back at a very good spot by the end of this episode, depending on how much time I have to sit here and grind. So we'll be right back. Well, there you have it. I just got done, well, saving, but I just got done building everything that I had at the end of the last episode. We got our barracks, our habitat with all the stuff inside, and we have our laboratory. So I'm going to talk about the progress. Uh, as you may have already seen, <laughs> we did a lot of stuff. Now, I, there was a little bit of a shortcut that I took because I'm a very busy man, okay? now. Let me preface before anyone freaks out. If anyone plays Osiris, you may be very aware that there's a really easy way, if you're playing on a private server, to manipulate uh, the resources that you have in your inventory and even in lockers and stuff around the world. It's literally a text file that you can change numbers and items. Give yourself whatever you need if you need it. I did not do this, not even once. What I did do was use Cheat Engine to speed up the game to a faster rate. And the reason why I didn't manipulate any of the numbers or the items is because alongside getting those items, you get experience and different uh, levels of things that I could have calculated, I guess, but it would have taken a lot of time and it wouldn't have been as 
fun for me, I guess. I still wanted to do the grind, I just didn't want to wait for five hours for me to be able to finish making ingots, you know, when I come back with a large group of things. So what I would do is when the time comes to, you know, let's say, uh, make some ingots and stuff, I would just speed it up. Uh, to about 10 times the speed in Sheet Engine. And that way I could just hold the left click and it would make a bunch of them at once and give me all the relative experience that I need to level up mainly and to also increase my proficiencies. Because it's, it's, it's every aspect. It's every time you mine something. Every time you take a resource and you turn it into an ingot. Every day you survive. All these things would calculate and if I were to just give myself all the items that I need and build the things back to where I was, my level wouldn't be the same. I wouldn't have the same skills. I wouldn't have the same numbers here and all my speed and health and stuff. And I wouldn't be able to shape my character to where it is now. Although it's not an in-depth character growing simulation. It would make me feel a bit strange to know that I have everything that I had, but I'm nowhere near close to being accurate about where I was before the update. So here we are. I am level 16, an engineer. Uh, my- I still have points to put on my- my speed, health, strength, and stamina. My proficiencies- the proficiencies are very strange, and we'll talk about those in a second. Uh, this was the hardest thing to get right. Uh, all the proficiencies and stuff, you can still abuse. You know, you can sit at a rubber tree and just hit it and watch your science points go up. But since everything is way more expensive, it's- it's actually kind of hard. It's difficult. I've unlocked everything and then some in order to get to the things that I needed. Um, I had to unlock some things I hadn't had before, so we're going to discuss that as well. So the large solar panel is something I didn't have before, but I needed it in order to get to the fabrication units that goes into the, the habitat so I can build the laboratory. And in addition to that, we unlocked computers, which is the place we're going to unlock our cryptexes, which we have two of them. But we don't even have the ability to build an inflatable dome. And I kid you not, we talked about this earlier. But I kid you not, I went this entire time without having a place to set because I just finished building the bed. My priority was on the lab to get that done, but I just finished building the bed. So I hadn't actually done a proper save until just now. Uh, I think that's kind of weird that the inflatable dome is something that we can't have until later. We ended up unlocking, oh right, so the guns, right? God, I had to go through unlocking these walls, uh, landmines in order to get the turret that I had. And now I just unlocked pistols. I haven't even unlocked the assault rifles or anything else yet, and I'm pretty sure uh, that I had that by default before. I, I, I can't remember. Heavy assault rifle, maybe it was something that I unlocked easily. Yeah, so in order to get- so the rovers, we have to unlock a whole bunch more of resources. We can't even build the vehicle right now. I would love to, but all this stuff costs a lot. We need 50 engineering for this, and then 75, so we need 125 engineering in order to get the one that I want. So that way we can transport supplies very easily, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of grinding over time to get there. I unlocked the crude metal axe, I was gonna use it as a, uh, you know, a weapon. But when I go to the primitive workbench, which is apparently where you're supposed to be able to make it, you can only make the crude metal axe head and not anything else. You can't actually make it. It's not even in the game yet. So I actually spent resources on that. Anyway, so we can build all this stuff now in the fabricator. Uh, there's not much that I can do. Shard blades, dragon teeth, and tactical knives are the next things that I can unlock. I can't even use the conduit bender. We only got one of those uh, at the very beginning. It was very easy to get engineering up. Uh, you, you get engineering for mining resources and then turning those resources into ingots and such. And you also, easy to get science because you can whack at a rubber tree or uh, whack at a normal tree or anything that has an infinite amount of resources. And at a high speed, you can get it pretty fast. Combat is the hardest thing to do because uh, each weapon has some kind of, I guess, some kind of level of experience that it gets for each hit. For instance, if I take the stone axe and I were to hit someone with it, it would give me 15 experience. Whereas if I were to take a bashing rock, which does significantly less damage, uh, and the speed at which it does it is incredibly slow, uh, I actually get 20 experience points. So it's a toss-up. It's like, well, I want to kill these things fast, but I actually end up getting more experience per enemy by using a bashing rock. Okay, open cryptics. Decrypt. Alright, so starting from back here, it has to be this way, which means this one has to connect in some way, which means it has to go up because it can't go straight down. 
Crap, I messed up. <laughs> this is actually pretty hard. Hold on a second. Yes. Oh, heavy assault rifle. What? Uh, okay, so we got 20 moves for this one. Obviously, this has to be straight. Obviously, this has to be straight. Um, obviously, the same one here. Is this the, not the exact same one? Hold on a second. Is it really? You just, you really just did that? It's the exact same one? <laughs> what did I unlock? Another heavy assault rifle. Oh, okay. That's why. Oh, we need the heavy assault rifle. Ah, the skill first. I got you. Okay, so let's see. Where is that anyway? Okay, it's called small guns, but apparently... <laughs> so we can unlock this with actually 51 uh, combat points. So when I make this pistol, that should that should help a little bit. All right, so let me put the rest of this stuff away. Uh, actually, let me take a look and see what I need for the pistol. I'm going to need two batteries. Uh, to make batteries, I'm going to need... Oh, I have to unlock batteries first. Okay, uh, where are you at? So I have to, uh, I have to get uh, 30 science points. Which I do not, I'm not close. I'm at 13. All right, so I gotta go, I gotta go do something. Hello? Oh boy, we're fighting. We're fighting. Give me a rock, dude. What? What are you shooting? Dude, are you destroying my barracks? Stop it. Well, who is this? I don't have a flashlight. I can't even see this guy. <laughs> what up, dude? You nasty fuck. Okay, so we went up in combat. See, it's, it's like, that's the best thing. Hopefully the laser, hopefully the lasers are a lot better in terms of, uh, experience. Or the, the gun, I guess, the pistol. Oh, God. Come on. Get off me, you snub. See, and this is what you do. You just sit here and you bash it with a rock. And then eventually, you'll get a science point. Yay! <laughs> Every 20 hits. Alright, so I have 25 now. I will take chemical lighting. And then I just need five more points. That's actually really easy. But I'm, I'm out of bashing rock. You actually get combat points! You get combat points for making a bashing rock and, and picking up a rock. God dang it, I can't get a freaking moment's peace. Get away from me. I don't even know how many points I have. 18? I'm pretty close. What? Dude, you ran away. Oh, it's a different one. Okay, that's cool. You can come back. You can come back. There we go. Ugh. So annoying. Leave me be. I'm just hitting his tree. It's not like the resources are going to go anywhere. All right, just one more. One more point. Yay. Okay, so we got 20. Now we can do batteries. Cool. Yes. I don't think I need the rest of this, but let's go back to base. How many days have we? Al we're alive for 11 days. That's pretty good. I mean, I died a few times while grinding, obviously. Okay, so for battery, we're going to need lithium, gold, and magnesium. Oh my god, dude. That's... That's a bit much, don't you think? Alright, lithium. There's gold. I can go into the mine and get that stuff. That's no problem. One, two. Perfect. Yay! More science points. Thank you. Okay, so we got the two batteries. We got the one circuit board. We need five wires. Uh, wires is gold, copper, and rubber. So let me get that rubber out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there we go. One pistol. Small fires a charge blast requires ammo maintenance. No, it doesn't. What are you talking about? Ammo maintenance. What does that even mean? What? The pistol takes ammo now? What? I- What? It takes ammo? How do you make ammo? What is- What does it need? What- What kind of- What kind of- what, what- What does it need for ammunition? What does it need? Laser- Okay- Oh, I need laser cells. Okay, but where would I- Where would I make that? I don't even see that in here. Son of a bitch. Well, I gotta go back and get some more science points. I guess maybe it'll show up? Maybe? Freaking out of ammo, my asshole, dude. Laser cells. Okay. Now we gotta go check to see if this is even a thing. If this- if I can't craft this, I'm gonna be so pissed, dude. It is so hard to get to the point where I can even use the pistol to begin with. It's so far down the skill tree, and the only way to get combat points is by bashing people's heads in with rocks. It's like, what is the point? You work so hard for the pistol, then you can't even make the ammunition? Where am I going to make this, huh? Is it in the forge or what? Ammo charges for the pistol. Oh, it is automatically used when reloading, if stored in the backpack. Well, what does this need? You require ability munitions expertise to crack. Oh, ammo shells are used by assault rifles. Oh, son of a bitch, dude. So uh, you can make them, so they're here. They are not the thing that I just unlocked, though. What is that that I just unlocked? Unlocks ability to craft laser cells. Laser cells act as the power source for pistols and other light-based weapons. But I 
I made that, did I not? Or how do I unlock a laser? See, see, okay, so the Cryptex allowed me to unlock the heavy assault rifle, right? So I can now make that when I unlock the ability to do so. Yeah, because the other thing isn't even here. Uh, as far as the laser pistol goes, it could be a Cryptex that I need to unlock elsewhere. So maybe I should just roam around and find some satellites. I can't make any vehicles or anything. This is, I'm pretty much stuck. I could make the crab mechanization if I were to grind it out, um, but I don't think I want to do that. Beacons would be nice, but I, I other things were more important. I don't think there's any other vehicles around here. Four-wheelers coming soon. Uh, ground assault vehicles, the GAV. Oh, hovercrafts. 40 science plus 35. I need 75 science in order to do that. I can't build anything, dude. I think the closest thing I have is making the mech, the crab mech. But let's just go and, you know what I could do? Try and kill the queen to get a heavy assault rifle. The crab scythe is probably the best thing. So if I can unlock that next, that would be amazing. Or I could just bring a machete or tactical knives. That might be the best thing too, man. I don't even know. All right, so let me check the fabricator. I'm talking way too much. I'm all over the place. I'm so confused. Uh, the machete. Let's just make... A few machetes. Or I can only make one, apparently. I mean, it attacks pretty quickly. If I could get tactical knives, that would be the best. I, I don't even know, like, should I get the tactical knife first? Or should I start unlocking the, the assault rifle to make ammunition? Because I can't do that yet. Dude, this is ridiculous. I'm an engineer. I get it, right? But even if I were to choose, like, a ranger, I would have only had, like, 20 to 30 extra points at the beginning. It would not have given me the boost you'd imagine. See, the only reason why I focused anyway on the engineer parts of the skill tree is because uh, I needed to build the stuff that I, I had before. I think, oh, I get 20 combat per hit. This is perfect. This is perfect. Let's see. We're at 45. Bam. 65. Perfect. It's just like a rock. I don't even need the rock anymore. Although this thing gets destroyed pretty quick. I'm just using the rock now. I'm not going to waste my uh, machete on that. Okay. So, boss is in here. I'm just going to take a bunch of wax at it. Uh, it automatically spawns people when I get in, so... Holy crap, this is hard, dude. This guy... This guy isn't even taking any damage. It's like barely any. It looks like my machete just started to shit on itself. It doesn't even do any damage. I'm running out of freaking uh, ammo. <laughs> or not ammo, but durability on this thing, though. Uh-oh. Alright, we're about to get swamped. And I'm out of... I'm, I'm out of bludgeoning weapons. Damn it, I'm out. Okay. Oh, why is this so hard? I need a gun. I should start with a laser pistol. Why don't you do that for me? <laughs> uh, okay, so what? I have 53. Okay, so now I can... Oh, I can unlock both. That's good. Tactical knives might be the best. Oh, tactical knives. I'm gonna do tactical knives, dude. I don't even care. Yell at me all you want, guys. Tactical knives. We're gonna we're gonna make a tactical knife, and we're gonna come back here and try to destroy the hell out of this guy. Queen thing. Okay, well, uh, let's make some steel. So to make two, we're going to need aluminum, iron, and magnesium. I don't even think we have enough iron. Do we? Nope. Crap. Aluminum is over here. Uh, I need a chisel or something. I guess I could just use a rock. And of course, as soon as I start doing it, just a bunch of assholes just come around trying to... Oh my god. Alright, get the hell away from me, please. Let me do my thing. I'm gonna get so many combat points just by fighting these guys trying to get resources to make better melee weapons to increase it then. This is so stupid. Alright. Turn all this stuff into what we need. And we should be good. Jesus Christ! Come on, leave me alone for like five seconds, please! Everyone? Are you good, dude? Are you good? Alright. Leave me the hell alone, please. All right, make some steel. Should be more than enough. Okay, so I'm gonna make three tactical knives. Let's hope and pray. At least what I can do is destroy the queen. Okay, and what else do I need for the machete? Rubber? Let's make a let's make let's make a few machetes. Let's make two machetes, just in case. Okay, there we go. So uh, we'll have this here, and then we'll have the machete here. I think that's pretty good. Let's save real quick, and then we'll go try this, and I think that'll be it for the first episode. I know that we had to basically, we didn't really get all that much compared to the last one, but there's so many changes now, it's it's actually made it kind of hard to do that, so. Oh, look at that! 35, I can already get, I can already do this. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. Who am I trying to kid here? I could do that. I could do the crab scythe, which is kind of nice, because I can, you know what? Let's do the crab scythe. 
because now I can make it on the fly. We're gonna need it eventually, okay? Maybe on the other planet. For right now, let's just go to 1A, see what we can do. Dude, let's go. All right, what do we got? Uh, 65, 60, holy shit. 65, 85, so it does do it. it does 20 each time. So I'll use the machete on the small guys because I'll get more experience in the end. And then the tactical knife on the big dude to kill him quicker. All right, so heading up to the queen, we will now, yeah, we'll use the machete first to kick these guys ass and then tactical knife it up. It's actually very hard fighting these guys. These ones back up to un undesirable distances. Keep going, dude, you got it. Keep getting those criticals. Hell yeah. It's happening. Whether you like it or not, queen. Oh boy. That one hurt. Oh boy. All right, I might have to kill this thing. Get away. Oh, that was easy. Okay, I have no longer I have no idea what I'm getting hit by anymore, but I got to kick this guy's ass quick. Come on. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. Hell yeah. Heavy assault rifle. Let's go. Okay, now we got to fight off these guys. There we go. Get out of my face. Easy peasy. Dead queen. Level 1. Now, it doesn't respawn that quick, does it? I hope not. Well, I got the heavy assault rifle. Uh, I don't think it comes with any ammunition. Nope. But at least I don't have to make one. Sweet. So how many, uh, I got 29 combat points now. Still can't do it, but yeah. I mean, munitions right there. We need 45 total. I could totally just go back in and do the same thing. It actually makes the most sense for me to have the machete to gain points because it deals less damage uh, but still 20 and it's faster or 20 experience at least, but I think I'll save that for another episode I know it's such a weird place to cut it But I'm gonna go ahead and cut it because I've been playing this for a while now and I'm tired We're back. We're back to where we were now. We can continue on basically Basically we are where we were <laughs> But we'll continue on in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it If you did be sure to leave a like let me know in the comment section below I love you all and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye